Well, the transition from military life to civilian life is difficult for many veterans. And thanks to the Foundation for Women Warriors, female veterans get the support and help they need. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of help to get to where you're going. Rebecca Ortego served in the Marine Corps for eight years. She completed a tour of duty in Afghanistan back in 2008. When she left the military and went to college, she was also a single mom raising her young son. She says there were few resources for female veterans, but she came across the Foundation for Women Warriors. And she says it changed her life. And I do think that without this, this foundation, I would not have gone on to graduate, I wouldn't have been able to focus on my finals while working full time and raising my son on my own. The foundation was founded back in 1920. It not only offers financial support, it also provides a sense of community. CEO Jody Grenier is a veteran too. She spent five years in the Marine Corps, including back-to-back -back deployments to Iraq. Women now today are the fastest growing segment of the veteran population, but they're also the fastest growing segment of homeless veterans. The foundation received a $25,000 grant from the COVID-19 Community Response Fund. News 8 is its media partner. It's raised nearly $17 million and passed that money onto local nonprofits to help those in need. Grenier says thanks to the grant, they were able to continue providing emergency assistance funds to female veterans for things like rent and health insurance payments. We asked so much of our military members and uh, and the things that they sacrifice, it's not a nine to five, it is a lifestyle. It's so important to ensure that those that write a blank check for their life uh, have an opportunity to succeed. I don't think that any of that stuff would have been possible if it wasn't for these women inspiring me and letting me know that what I've done for this country and what I've contributed does not go unrecognized. So certainly very inspiring story.